just want you to know that although it did happen, there's a purpose. And that God can turn your ashes into beauty. He can take your broken pieces and piece it back together with, with no cracks and make a masterpiece out of you. So I want the masterpiece. The world needs the masterpiece to come out of you. And on today's video, I'm going to share with you why you went through what you went through. Now, whoever's watching this video, I'm talking to you. You've been through something. You've been through something and it changed the course of your life. And you may feel like you don't have purpose. I just want to read this story to you. It's a book and it has five chapters and I'm going to read the five chapters to you. Um, it's a book that I read. It's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens. And there's only one thing that stood out so much that I had to do a video on it. Because I'm going to show you your purpose and why you went through what you went through from what I'm about to read out this book. If you ever come across this book, it's on page 62. You got to follow the story. Follow this story. Chapter 1. I walked down the street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I fall in. I am lost. I am helpless. It isn't my fault. It takes forever to find a way out. Pretty much. You started down a path, but you had no knowledge. You had no knowledge and you wasn't able to help yourself. You couldn't help yourself for the reason why you went through what you went through. Chapter two, I walked down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. I pretend I don't see it. I fall in again. I can't believe I'm in the same place, but it isn't my fault. It still takes a long time to get out. Now you see it, but you go pretend, you pretend you didn't see it. I Chapter 3 I walk down the same street. There's a deep hole in the sidewalk. I see it is there. I still fall in. Why do I keep falling in? Because it's a habit. My eyes are open. I know where I am. It is my fault. I get out immediately. Now you know, whatever it is in your life, now you know that it happened it's not right. Now you might find yourself keep falling into the same holes. Okay, come to the realization of what it is. You know that if you keep falling into the, that same hole, it's only because it's a habit. There's nothing wrong with you. Now you know it's a habit. And how do you break a habit okay I guess that's another video but now you know it's a habit so if it keep if it's still happening and you still in the hole it's the habit because it happens so much that you're doing it habitual habitually okay and we can shift out of that okay that's another story for another day but I'm gonna show you what you can do today in this video in chapter 4 it gets better. I walk down the same street. There is a deep hole in the sidewalk. This time, I walk around it. Chapter 5. I walk down another street. 
you got to catch it. So the reason why you went through what you went through. What this story is saying is that you fell in a hole. But right now you might still be in the hole. But the goal is not to stay in the hole. Your purpose is to get out of the hole. And yes, walk it down another street, but get out of the hole so you can help others get out of that hole. Because right now you think you're the only one been through what you've been through. But there's a lot of people that have been through what you've been through. And the goal is not to forget about it. You don't want to just forget about it or self-medicate to suppress it. Bring it to the surface. It was wrong and it happened. But the goal is not for you to stay in the hole. See, right now, if you're self-medicating on whatever, that's because you're still in the hole. You're still in the hole. You haven't gotten out the hole to help other people get out. So the goal is to get out of the hole so you can take, reach back in there and pull somebody else out of the hole. That's the best thing you could do. I know you probably hate what happened to you and you can't stand to think about it. That's why you self-medicate. But let me tell you how to... If, if you want to call it shame the devil, let me tell you how to how to how to really hit it hard. Right now, you're hitting it hard in the wrong way. You, you want to really hit it hard? Go start pulling other people out your out that hole, the same hole you was in. Tell your story, okay? You might say, well, how do I do that? Well, stay sober long enough. And when you're sober, you have to go inside. Yeah, I know. I know some people don't want to go inside. You got to go within yourself. Okay? And that's going to be a passion. There's, there's a love. There's a passion for something. Just begin to follow that passion. Find, follow the love. Because God is love. So follow the love and He will lead you to your to your purpose and he will lead you to what you need he will lead you down the right direction just by following love in your heart you might love to do this or do that okay so instead of self-medicating go do that it might be you might like to play an instrument well go start playing that instrument you might like because it's going to lead you so one thing that's going to lead you to another thing that's going to lead you to another thing. And before you know it, you're, you're on the right path. I'm sorry for what happened to you, whatever you went through. But your purpose is not to stay in the hole. Your purpose is to get out the hole. So right now I'm calling you to get out of that hole. To get out of that hole because there's people waiting for you to get out of the hole. If you got out of the hole... Great. Start pulling somebody else out the hole. If you're still in the hole, the world is waiting for you to get out the hole. Get out the hole so you can go help somebody else get out the hole. Okay? And instead of self-medicating in other ways, I need you to let that passion just rise up in you to make whatever that you went through just like punch it in the face if you want to if you want to give it a good blow don't go don't go do that no more give you want to give it a good blow just go get out the hole you want you want you want to how do i say this you want to like what life may have kicked you down like if you want to just give it a good kick back say i'm gonna just kick you back life this is how you kick life back. When, like, when you felt like life has kicked you down, the best way to kick life back is to do what this book say and get out the hole and go start pulling other people out the hole. That's the best thing you do. And I do know the perfect person that I do want to get on my channel who was knocked down and she got out the hole. She got out the hole and she told me that she wanted to tell her story of how she got out, got out the hole, let's just say, and she want to tell her story 
and hopefully her story will get others out of the hole too so yeah maybe i'll get her on this maybe i'll get her on my channel so we'll look forward to that it's unfortunate that you had to be the guinea pig okay and went through it but you still here you still here because you have a purpose and that purpose is to get out of the hole to get out of the hole and begin to walk down another street so you can stop falling in that same hole i see it all the time people keep going in the same hole now you know it it's a habit if you didn't know that it's a habit it's a habit and it's a bad habit okay so we're gonna knock that bad habit and begin to replace it with new habits okay we go place it with some new habits and those new habits you're going to receive from just following following the love out of your heart okay what do you love to do not what do you love to do to suppress anything but what do you love to do that just brings you joy besides using other things that brings you a false sense of joy so false so fake fake sense of joy let me tell you if you think that was joy or you want to experience some real joy just follow the love in your heart and it's going to lead you and it's going to tell you exactly where you have passion and love for it and just start going down that, that direction and the path of love that points you to your purpose <laughs> you want to know what your purpose is you got a purpose it don't matter what you did what you've been through you have a purpose and God can use what you what you've been through as part of your purpose. And we need you to get out the hole. So this video is about getting out of the hole. Okay. So that's what I have for you today. I want to thank you for watching. And if you are new to my channel and you have kids, make sure you go visit the Vigilant Mom playlist right here on this channel. And if you are married go to my marriage today playlist right here on this channel and if you plan on visiting miami make sure you go to my trust miami hashtag family playlist right here on this channel if you're pregnant make sure you go to my Kara's pregnancy tip right here on this channel and i will see you next video bye bye